Hi everyone. I'm super excited today because I get to give you a full walkthrough of the brand new 2019 Lamborghini Urus. I'm Heather Ballantyne, sales specialist and entrepreneur. Follow me and enjoy the ride. So first of all, before I start the walkthrough, I just want to address something that I've been hearing some chatter about this not being a real Lamborghini. Well, let me assure you, it definitely is. And as I walk you through it, you're going to see all the DNA that points to that. If you recall, back in 1985, Lamborghini had a model called the LM002. That was their first truck. They made 300. And now we fast forward 33 years and we have the Urus. It's absolutely stunning. I'm going to start by popping the hood. So you guys know I love naturally aspirated. I'm always talking about it. We all know this one has gone turbo, but it makes sense. And it's not just an SUV. This is a super SUV. You'll see here it has a bi-turbo V8 and your top speed is 305 kilometers. It also has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. So for the world of trucks, we're very familiar here in Canada. This is unheard of. There's nothing like it. It's incredible. And I think it's really gonna change the demographic of buyers for Lamborghini. I know as a sales specialist, I've been doing it six years and I primarily sell to men, but this is gonna change the game. This is gonna be one Lamborghini that your wives and girlfriends are gonna want. They're gonna to wanna to drive it. Your kids can go in it, your dogs, whatever you need to do, you can do it. And there's only so many places that we can safely drive our cars and push the limits. So this is a car, a truck, that you're gonna enjoy every day. It's pretty amazing. And you'll notice on the hood, you have the adaptive cruise control, which we'll get into more when I take you inside. And like I was talking about, about the Lamborghini DNA, you see the badge here, I love this. You'll see the, the Y here, ellipses that you see in like so many of the Lamborghinis, the Aventador, the Uticon, all of it traveling through here. You'll see this from the Uticon. There's so many things that point to Lamborghini DNA. It's very exciting. And let's take a look at these rims or wheels as many of you like to call them. These are the 23 inch. Now, currently you can't spec it with 23 inch. I just spec'd my first two orders. Right now you can do a 21 or a 22, uh, but the 23 is coming. So if you're getting one of the later models, you'll probably be able to order 23 inch. I love the diamond turn here. It's really nice. And look at the size of these calipers. They're huge, amazing. I love it. This is gonna be the perfect Lamborghini for us here in Canada because we drive them year round. And on that note, if you do order the 22s, there is a winter tire package available. So I know my clients are gonna be all over that. You'll notice this is in the Bianco Icarus, which is the metallic white. Now, if you were to park this next to the pure white, Bianco Monacaris, you'll see quite a bit of difference. This almost has a gray or silver tint to it, but when it's alone freestanding, it looks very white. Um, I really love the contrast of the style. I'm gonna see gloss black throughout. Again, some more Lamborghini DNA here. Looks awesome. And frameless windows, they're beautiful. All right, let's get inside. So before I step in, we'll just take a look at the door here. There's an option for a big carbon package. It's gorgeous. This car actually has it. I know I would be ordering that option, but there are other options if you don't like carbon. You can do piano black. There are a lot of wood grains that I can show you later in the sample box. You'll see the B&O here. This is a premium option. So if you don't want the standard sound system, you can upgrade to this. And a lot of conveniences here, child locks, all your windows. This is pretty self-explanatory. Beautiful red stitching throughout, and you'll see not only leather, but Alcantara. It's very nice. Again, if you look down by the foot pedals, more Lamborghini DNA. 
and there's your hood release here. So I literally had a client who was six foot six today sit in this. He had tons of room. He's like, wow, this is so much more spacious than my Porsche. He left the seat where he sat it and then he moved in the back and still was able to fit. So it's pretty incredible how large the cabin space is and how comfortably someone very tall can be in this vehicle. I'm obviously a shorty, so I'm gonna move this seat up. The wheel feels great. I love the perforated leather inserts. And you've got all your functionality here, so you really don't have to leave the wheel. The paddles have a very cool shape, uh, very uniquely Urus, which is nice. I haven't seen these kind of paddles on the other Lamborghinis, so that's something unique. And back to the turnstocks here, which is cool. For an SUV, I think you want that. The Uticon, we have it all on the wheel, but this is nice. Um, Lighting's here, the dash is pretty cool. Let's move the modes down to Corsa. Yeah, so our dash changes, and it shows you torque on the side. Right now it's showing me the doors open. Pretty cool. So we have several modes here. So you're familiar with the top three modes, Strata, I'll move it there so you can highlight it, Sport, and Corsa. But now we have some new modes. We have Sand, we have Terra, which is mud and gravel, and we have Neve, which is snow. We'll definitely use that mode here. But not all of these modes come standard with the car, so you have to do the off-road if you want the additional modes, okay? So keep that in mind when you're specking your Urus. You'll see these um, touch screens are really amazing. You know, you can play with this and lower your heat and air. This is your fan speed, so it's pretty cool that you can just reach over and touch that. Heated seats, this is all very self-explanatory. One thing I love that I was just playing with here before you started filming was the interior lighting. Um, so if you click this, one way that you guys can see it easily, because you can't really see it through the whole car right now, it's lit up too much, but here at the cup holder, you can change the colors. So if I put it to green, you'll see it changes. Arancio, you can basically do whatever you like, customizing your interior lighting. And it's interesting, these touch screens, I had to get used to it. When you touch it very lightly, it doesn't respond. You actually kind of have to push and it gives you a feedback, like haptic feedback to your uh, fingerprint, which is pretty interesting. It makes it fun to push the buttons. So we'll go back here. Exterior lighting is here. You can go to home. There's a lot of apps. You can play with telephone, Navi. It's just very cool. This gives you back to lighting. There's music here. Right now we don't have a device connected, but basically all I'm saying is the touch screen is really amazing to use. Um, up here, you know, you have easily accessible buttons, your lighting, you have this amazing panoramic roof here, which is beautiful. And um, I'm glad that they've updated the rear view mirror. I know it sounds silly, but you have a compass now. And my client Anna, I just delivered two cars to her and she was like over the moon about the compass because she's actually one of my few clients that drives her car country to country for winter. So she was pretty stoked about that. It's little, but those little things matter. You'll see the carbon is gorgeous on this uh, dash. And here, the Lamborghini brand, very beautiful. You got a nice big glove there if you want to put things in it. Uh, lots of storage, you know, so you put your phone here, cup holders, now we get two. I know my clients are always complaining that they only have one in their cars. And you'll notice with these seats, you have this perforated leather and that's because uh, the seats are not only heated, but they're also ventilated and you can have massage. So don't worry, you can be cruising down the highway and getting a massage while you're driving your Urus, which is pretty badass. I love the embroidered uh, logo here, it looks awesome. And let's take a look in the back because you have a few options that I wanna show you. So in the back here, right now this Urus um, has the four seat configuration. I know most of my clients want the five seat, the bench. Now if you do the four seat, one thing to keep in mind is you cannot do Alcantara, you have to do leather. Um, with the four seat, you get this little pass through here but with the five seat, you could actually fold the entire bench down, which will give you huge cargo space if you like to surf or ski or whatever. Maybe you have five dogs, you know, whatever it may be. A cool thing back here is, and this is also in the front, I just didn't point it out, you can lay your phone here 
And when it's on here, it's actually charging. Uh, you don't have to plug it in or anything, so that's pretty cool. It just starts charging your battery. And uh, you've got your cup holders as well, more storage. Nice big uh, storage space there. But remember, if you do the bench, you won't have this console. It'll just be a nice streamlined bench seat, but you can seat five that way. So it really depends on what you need for your family. You'll see all the controls here for the back seat, which is pretty great. They can plug their devices in. It's nice. And if you want, you can get rear entertainment here. Uh, I know in Canada, TV is not allowed there. We can only have Sirius. So um, I don't know how popular that will be here, but in other parts of the world, it may be hugely popular popular okay let's take a look in the back so it actually has the handless tailgate opener which is very convenient if you've got a baby in your hand or groceries you can just wave your leg and it's gonna open for you now you can do that to close it or you can simply push the button before I do that you'll see plenty of ample space you could fit full golf clubs back here sets of golf clubs you could do Plenty of luggage, and like I said, if you do the bench, you can fold it down and really amplify the space. There is a pass-through for skis if you do the four seat, but personally, I would want the bench. All right, let's close her up. It's the first time I can actually pack more in my Lamborghini than my lunchbox. And this is one Lamborghini that I don't have problems getting in and out of, so. A lot more comfortable for me right now. If you notice down here, we've got more style pack accents. You can do this black, you can keep it matte or match to certain body colors. You can also choose what color you want these exhaust tips. So if you don't like the chrome, there's a satin option and also a matte black. So that's pretty cool. Depending on your spec, you can really customize all the little details. So we've talked about the modes, but some really cool buttons that I want to get into are here by the parking brake. Um, you'll see on the left here, if you push this one, <clears throat> you've got a lot of cameras here. It's very cool. Right now our top view camera is being a bit blocked. You can kind of see the background, but it's because of the stage there. But if you press this 3D button, it's really cool. You can <laughs> turn your car around and see everything around you, which is amazing. You know, like whatever angle you want to look at, you can. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and here you can see different shots of the car. It will do it for you if you like. So it's pretty advanced. That's amazing technology. Also, if you push this button, it looks like a Neuros with a little circle around it. Um, you know, let me exit on this. <clears throat> it's gonna bring you to the driver assistance. So if you go here, um, oops. If you go here to the edit, you're gonna have a lot of options here. So night vision assist, which is pretty cool. Distance warning, side assist, intersection assist, and emergency assistance. So these, these are really cool um, options for you, uh, depending on the driver and what they want. You can also just go to maximum and have, it gives you um, basically information on what each of these is, right? So you can click it and it'll explain to you. So uh, lots of safety features here. It's definitely, you know, 650 horsepower. It's an amazing super SUV, but it's also very family friendly and very practical and very safe. So I don't know about you guys, but I've worked like a 10 hour day here at the dealership and this little massage button right here is awesome because it comes up and it asks you, do you want to stretch? Do you want relaxation, shoulder massage? You can really like, so many options here, revitalization, activation, pulse, circular wave. I'd like to click them all, but uh, yeah, it's massaging me right now and it's pretty awesome. You can also change the intensity if you want. So if you look here on the screen, um, you can customize your massage however you like. So this is a pretty cool case that we got. It's got all the Urus samples. I've just started specking my clients' cars, and you'll see here, if you don't want to do the carbon on the dash and the interior, you have a lot of other options you can choose from. There's beautiful paints, you know, maybe you do something bright, or maybe you keep it subtle. You know, there's just so many options that you can do. Um, I think this SUV would look good in any color, honestly. Here you can play with different um, interior 
stitches and piping against leathers just to see what you may or may not want to do. Uh, you'll see that you have, as usual, Alcantara and leather. I did tell you there are some limitations with that, depending on if you do the bench seat or the four seat configuration. Here's some beautiful tans here. We've got a nice navy. And then some examples of the diamond stitching. In here, we have carpets and also some colored seat belt options. So those are really nice. So basically you can customize exactly what you want, which is gonna be the fun part. And if you haven't tried the configurator at Lamborghini.com, make sure to go on that. You can get an idea of what you like and play around with it. Just make sure to select your country because depending on what country you are in, certain packages aren't available. All right guys, so there's one last thing to do and that's start this. Let's do it. into Corsa. Sounds pretty good to me. I don't think I mind the turbo. All right guys, thanks so much for watching my walkthrough of the Lamborghini Urus. When I get the demo in the spring or summer, I'll be happy to give you a full review. And if you haven't checked out the link below for my book, Queen of the Bulls, make sure you click it and get your copy before they sell out. And as always, if you'd like to know more about the Lamborghini brand, make sure to come and see me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I can't wait to have you along for the journey.